Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Jet. And in this tutorial, you will learn how to transform objects on the page or via transform panel. If you're new to Affinity Publisher, no worries. I have videos for beginners and you can check it out anytime. I'll put the links in the description. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post one of these educational videos. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. All right, so first we need the move tool selected and it's this arrow right over here in the left corner, top left corner that says move tool. So once that's selected, we can now select the text by clicking on it or any object that you have in your layer content. And to move this, we can just click drag within this selection box like so. And when you're happy with the placement, you just release the mouse button and that's it. Now also if you hold down shift while moving the object, like this, you can constrain the object to its vertical and horizontal axis and it will also constrain it to 45 degree movements as well. Now let's move on to resizing. We can resize any object by hovering over one of the corner nodes like this here or this one or any of the corner nodes until we get the resize icon then just drag to resize. And we can also use a couple of keyboard modifiers by default this object constrains its aspect ratio and we can change this behavior by holding down shift on the keyboard like so. And when we want to move back to the default aspect ratio behavior, we simply release the shift key. Then it will go back to the default aspect ratio. Also, we can resize around the center point instead by holding down command key on the Mac or the control key on Windows like this. So it starts from the center. And we can combine this as well by holding command and shift at the same time. So if you hold command and shift at the same time, see how it changes the resizing. And then you just release the keys when you're satisfied. Now let's move on to rotating objects or layer content. To do that, we can click drag on the rotation handle node, this one right here. Let me zoom in for you. Okay, this one right here, like that. Or if you hover on one of the corners, you can also get a rotation icon like this. And again, we can hold down the shift to constrain the rotation to 15 degree increments, like this one. Then we can shear any layer by hovering over the top until we get the shear button here like this. So it's kind of like a, a left and right arrows. So you can do it like this. And we can also use the transform panel here if you'd rather not manipulate anything on the canvas. And if you can't find the transform panel, you can uh, see it in view, studio, and transform this. Just click on it and it will show up. So for example, we have this X and Y position, the width and the height, also the rotation and the shear. And you can either set the shear or rotation to any number by typing in the shear, like for example, 50, and then just hit on return or enter. It will do like that. Or you can also use this bar over here. Okay. And uh, same goes with the rotation. You can enter the number or you can use uh, the bar. Also, we can use the X and Y for exact positioning of any object. Just change the X and Y values or you can click inside and use your up and down keys. So let me zoom out for you. And you can do this or go to your Y and you can just do it like this. And finally, we have the offset. So if I select the text like this one, notice the offset is set to the top left. If I rotate or shear, it uses the top left as its anchor point. If I move this to the center, if I click this one, the anchor point now is in the center. So if I rotate it, I don't know if you can see this one. If you notice in the middle, there's like an arrow or a line that says that your anchor point is the center. So there we go. Just a quick look on moving, resizing, and rotating any layer content. Hope you found this useful. And if you like this video, please subscribe, like, and share this on social media. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye.